In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite spacing concepts in Madden 22. This concept is going to allow you to torch Mabel coverage. It's also, if you work the concept right, is going to allow you some really cool windows in which you can really obliterate a lot of the meta ways that people are playing defense in Madden. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. I'm talking about the trips tight in. You want to load up the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. Um, in my opinion, if you want to pass the ball, I love this playbook as a stock uh, passing type of playbook. Now, uh, as you can see here, I'm setting my zone drops to kind of show the first piece of the tip, which is how to throw things and how to work your routes against Mabel defense. We're gonna get into some other stuff later on in the video, but again, Detroit Lions playbook, we're gonna be focusing on the play X spot. Now this play is absolutely incredible. I think it's one of the best and most underrated passing concepts in this game. There's so, so much that you can do with this play. And it's really a play where last year we saw it get a lot of hype. And to be honest with you, this year, it, a lot of people have kind of stopped using it, to be honest. So today I wanted to give you a concept in which you can use it and still be really effective against uh, Meta Mabel. You can be effective against pressure. Um, it really just kind of puts your receivers in sp specific places against zones that are gonna make it really hard to guard. So X spot is what we're gonna be going over. And then if you want to get my full trip side in ebook, I've got a full ebook on trips side in. I've also got about 20 other ones. If you want to get access to all of them, as well as updates to those every week, um, you can join our Patreon. Our Patreon is only $10 to sign up for. There's a link in the description below. And I'm actually going to be dropping a major, major update to the trips tied in probably in the within the next week or so. It's something that project I've been working on for probably the better part of the last two to three years just getting decent at this offense and so if you want to check that out again link is in the description we got over 20 ebooks too so if you don't like trips tied in we probably got something in there that you uh would enjoy now first things first is i want to show um this primarily against a defense that i face a lot which is a double mabel coverage so we're going to uh, play cover two with a purple and a flat and then on the back side here, we're going to use a three rec to kind of try to help us with any kind of drag concepts. And then our user is going to be in the middle of the field. And our user can take a crosser over the middle. He's going to kind of be in the middle of the field, basically. Okay? So that's this. I play this. I'm telling you, when people realize I can beat man, this is what I get almost every single day. So how do I want to set up this concept? Really simple, to be honest. Uh, all we're going to do with this is we are going to uh, take our running back and we're going to put him on a out route. We're then going to take our triangle receiver and we're gonna put him, very important, on a curl or a hitch. Um, if you like the, the hitch, that's fine. If you like the curl, that's fine. They're both good. I personally, because I want it to be able to beat man, I would rather a curl, but you can use a hitch. And then with the tight end, we're going to put him on a either a tight end apprentice post. I personally don't like using the tight end apprentice post for this setup because I don't have a clear out route vertically. So I'm going to use a smart routed in. Okay, very simple. And then we're just going to motion this curl to the right. And we're going to snap right when he gets on the number. So right there. And what you're going to see with this motion snap is if they have a purple, it's going to get pulled out by the running back route. And it's going to allow you to throw the ball um, very uh, smoothly to the curl. Because what we're kind of anticipating that's going to happen is we're really anticipating that the user is going to want to guard the tight end because it's by far the best route on this play. And so really, if we can just force the opponent, um, if we can just force the opponent to have to user guard the tight end, then both of our curls are gonna be open. So if the user's over here, we can throw this right here. Now, what they have to do to stop it is they have to have a vertical hook on the left and they have to actually user the curl on the right side. And so this is what makes this so good. So let's say for example, that our opponent is a good player and they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna run a cover two with two vertical hooks here and a curl flat over here. Now they're using the vertical hook because you know maybe they know we like to throw curls, I'm not sure, but this is their zone that they're gonna go with. And then they're gonna user that tight end coming across our face 
and then they have to the ability to drop this guy down here if that's the case in terms of what they're going to do to try to stop us watch this curl um when we snap him on the numbers you're going to notice the vertical hook gets gonna is gonna get really um wait i don't know what that guy's doing what 22 is doing but the vertical hook should get sucked in as long as we snap it we might have snapped it just a smidge too early it looks like that was the vertical hook let's try that one more time the three wreck really is going to be in kind of no man's land to be honest um he's really more like a spy um and, and, and really designed to help the running back but anyways let me show you this one more time so let me go man on tight end and then we're going to go with a curl and then we're going to go with an out. And again, you want to make sure this guy's snapped like right on, like as he's getting on the numbers. Now you see the vertical hook doesn't guard him. Now the three red does go to him. To be honest with you, he will not play it. I mean, it, I've never seen that intercepted um, against a coverage like that. So you got a lot, um, you, you're, you're going to be fine with, with anything like that. Now I want to show this against straight man. And then we're going to go over, um, then we're going to go over just kind of some basic things with this. So the curl, what I like the curl so much is because it gives me a read against man. Against man coverage, just low ball the curl right on the cut. And as you can see, it beats man to man. The other thing that I want to do is I want to back out of this real quick. And I want to grab um, 10 yard or just we can just honestly do stock curl flats and stock clouds. And the reason why I want to show that is because the curls are really, 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 really good against cover three stock um, which could be a something that your opponent wants to run so um, you don't have to outright your running back it's just better for main coverage again once he gets to the numbers you, you want him to kind of snap just outside the numbers notice that curl flat is going to get pulled didn't quite get pulled as much as he normally does again i'm minus you want to kind of really learn the the timing on the motion snap um but because you, you could kind of want it like right there that's probably about right now i do have the running back out i could just throw that but you see how good the curl is when the when the route the back pulls that curl uh flat fender out of the way it's so good and so you might be thinking well what if like what if they have a hard flat or what if they like shade their coverage down shade their yellows down great you know potential thing those don't do any it, it, it's gonna make it worse uh you, the, the the best coverage to be honest and again i got i don't know why in this um, practice when I keep getting screamed at by these random like three man rushes out of cover three sky. But, but anyways, and you can do it with this guy too. It's not, it's not a big deal, but if they're, if they're hard flatting, it's, it's, they're going to go to the running back and it's, it's not, you're going to have that route all day long. So that is uh, that concept. So now I wanted to just spend a few seconds here going over this, um, against a double flat out of a cover two. So let's say they double flat. So they hard flat and they cloud flat to try to stop this concept. You're going to see that both flats should get pulled out and I can throw the ball right on the numbers. You want to throw the curl just on just to the right of the numbers. If you throw it inside the numbers, the vert hook will play it. If you throw it outside the numbers, the cloud flat will play it. So you want to really get that timing down. But that, now what you're going to get a lot of, to be honest, and really the best coverage for this is man coverage with two purples. So you're going to see here, I'm going to go, let me make sure I got this right. Um, I'm going to put two purples on the field. Let me make sure. Why is it? No. Play arts glitched. Okay. So I got two purples and then the dig. So basically, if they don't use your tight end in route, Please throw it. It is the best man beater, in my opinion, in the game. A smart routed in from the tight end really does a number on man coverage. One la one other thing I didn't point out in the zone portion of this. So let's say they are in zone coverage. And let's say that they user your curl to the right side. Okay. If that's the case, if you watch this tight end route, you're going to see that those yellows are so low that you can oftentimes throw the tight end route over the yellow zone. If you don't feel comfortable throwing that read, that is fine. You can wait for it and it's going to turn into a natural high low on the left side. So the curl flat is going to get held by that dig and now I can throw it right there. And what I love about that is if that's a post route, it's going to run into the third. But if, because it's a 10 yard in, it doesn't run into the third. So really, really good little concept here. And I just think this is something that's so, so, so good because they, they have to play man press 
um, to even have a shot. Um, and then even at that, if they don't use your tight end, he's wide open. But let's say they use your tight end. Well, now look who's wide open. You're running back on the quick out with a little rack catch. Your curl is going to be wide open. Um, so you have two easy reads against this. It's obvious not a play that you want to call if they're running a significant amount of man coverage. Um, but, I mean, you can run this against man, and it really is still pretty good. You just want to learn how to throw these curls. Um, just inside pass lead, and you, you see there, you got to be a little careful with the curl. Um, and what I mean by careful, I mean you want to learn how to throw it. So what you want to not do um, is try to force feed the curl. What I like to do is you want to let the curl kind of sit for just a second or throw it like right on the cuts, so like right there, boom, right on the snap. See that? Um, now the little hitch to the left, what you want to know real quick is you want to know that that hitch, you don't want to low ball that one. And the reason why is because you're going to get throws like what I just got. You want to low ball the curl, but not the hitch. With the hitch, you just want to throw it inside or, I mean, you don't even, I don't even know that you should throw it against man. You can throw it against man, but just be careful. Um, I don't feel like pass leading that hitch really helps it. So let me show you one more way to throw the hitch. And then, like I said, your in routes open, your curl routes open, your out routes open. All those things are there for you. But just bullet past this hitch. Um, and, and a lot of times, you know, again, as you can see, if they're pressing it and it's getting underneath it, you, you got to be careful because um, you can certainly throw picks. But the thing is, you know, if when we get them to start running man coverage, it's going to open up all kinds of other things that we can do. One thing I really like to do is just low ball it right off the snap. I think that's a really clean read. A lot of people don't feel comfortable throwing that, but it's a really clean way to throw this hitch. Um, and the reason why is because, again, you're in an animation, right? So you know that that route's going to be open. And then, again, like I said, this you can throw that little – I mean, you can leave the post if you want to. It's going to be man. But once they start running man, there's a whole slew of things we can do. But the bottom line is I think man coverage with two purples is probably the best. But you're still going to be susceptible to the tight end in, the curl, um, and the out. And then if you can get good at throwing that and aggressive catching that, you've got to aggressive catch it. If you don't aggressive catch it, it's a pick. But if you aggressive catch that, I think that's a fairly consistent read that you can really kind of depend on um, to be able to beat the coverage. So, again, just kind of wait right there and then just cut it off. Real simple. And this is one of my favorite plays, again, because it's so good against Mabel coverage. Really, the only chance they have at stopping this is they have to basically go, I mean, I, mean, I don't even know. They have to purple both these guys. They have to have two vertical hooks. And then, again, they're still in the middle of the field, of course. They're obviously dropping a ton of people into coverage. Um, and you'll see, this is still not going to stop everything. As long as you get this motion snap right, you should have your curl right there. And, again, i got to throw that a little better. But you should have your curl. Obviously, we had our flat that we could have hit. And I'll show that one more time just to show that there's really not a whole lot that they can do to that's going to completely lock it down. They have to use her the tight end route, like that's a must. And so really we're kind of saying like, okay, now that you're you have to use her that route, how can we beat you with some of this other stuff? So if I want to throw that, that's an easy 9 yards. So you see how tough this concept is. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my full trip side and ebook, join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. Gets you unlimited access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates that we release every single week. And I think it will really help you become a better Madden player. So thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the membership, link is in the description below.